Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Classroom. This video covers how to use originality reports in Google Classroom to check for plagiarism and citation needs. So with originality reports in Google Classroom, you and your students can compare their written work against billions of web pages and millions of books to identify possible areas of plagiarism or passages that may need proper citation. This can help students catch problems before they submit their work and allow you to easily check student writing while grading. Here's how it works. First, we'll go to Google Classroom and create an assignment as normal. We can make the assignment just like normal, including the title, instructions, attachments, due date, topic, and more. For this example, we're going to make an assignment for the students to submit their economics midterm paper. Where things will be different, though, is we will need to check the box next to Check Plagiarism Originality. Note, if your school pays for the enterprise version of the Google suite of tools, then you can run an unlimited number of originality reports. You and your students can check for plagiarism on every assignment in every class all year long. However, if your school is using the free version of the Google suite of tools, then your use of originality reports is limited to five assignments per class. So for each class that you teach, you can turn on the originality report feature for five different assignments in that class. Because of this, you will want to consider which writing assignments in each class would benefit the most from this tool. So if you're using the free version of G Suite, when you click on the Check Plagiarism box, you'll get a pop-up window that will let you know how many more times you can use originality reports in that particular classroom. If you're using the paid enterprise version, then you will not get a pop-up since your use will be unlimited. For this example, I will click Continue. And now we can click on the Assign button to post the assignment as normal. Let's now switch over to the student view. As a student, we can open up the assignment as normal and open up our Google document and begin working on writing our paper. When we are all done writing our paper, we won't turn it in just yet. Instead, we will close out of our Google document and go back to the Google Classroom assignment. Above the Turn In button on the Google Classroom assignment page, we will see a link to run the originality report. This is great to let the students see any plagiarism or citation concerns before they turn in their writing, so they can make any needed changes. Let's click on the Run link. The student is allowed to run the originality report three times for each assignment. This allows them to see problems, and then make changes to their document, and then run the report again if needed. Again, we will click Run. It'll take a little time for the report to run, but when it is done, we will have a link below the document. Let's click on View Originality Report to see it. We will now get a new tab that opens up with the originality report. In the top right-hand corner, we can see the number of passages that have been flagged as potential problems, as well as passages that appear to be quoted from somewhere else and may still need to be cited. By clicking the slider button, we can include these quoted passages in the list below. In addition to the number of passages, we can also click on the percent button to see what percent of the total document these passages take up. To view the details on any of these passages, we have two options. First, each of the passages will be highlighted in gray in the preview of the document. We can simply click on the gray passage to see what we wrote and to see where the match was found on the internet. A link will also be provided that we can click on to go out to the original article where the text is from. A second way to explore the passages of interest is to click on a source in the list. This will jump us directly to the spot in the document where the text appears, and if there's more than one passage from that source, we can use the arrows at the bottom to move through each of the passages. Do note that sometimes the source may be properly cited. 
but then other times it may not be, and we will need to go back to our original Google document and fix that. We can do this by clicking on the Edit button at the bottom to toggle between the edit mode and the report. Or, of course, we can simply close out of the report and open up our Google document as normal. Before leaving the report, though, we can also print or save the report by clicking on the printer icon up in the top right-hand corner. Here we can print out the report as normal, or we can choose the Save as PDF option to download a copy. When we are all done with the originality report, we can simply close out of that tab. As a student, when we are back on the assignment page in Google Classroom, we can click on our document to open it and make any needed edits, or we can click on the report link again to reopen the originality report, or we can click on the run link again to run a new copy of the report for any changes we have made. Keep in mind, the student can run a new version of the report three times for each assignment before they turn it in. Or we can, of course, click on the Turn In button when we're happy with our document and ready to submit it. Let's do that now. Now let's go back and have a look at this from the teacher's point of view. As a teacher, we can open up the assignment as normal in Google Classroom, and then we can click on the student's document to open it up. When the student turns in their document, a new originality report will automatically run. So all we have to do is go up to the top right-hand corner of the screen, and below the student's submitted document, we will see a link to view the report, which will list how many passages have been flagged. We can click the link to open the report. At this point, the report will behave just like it did in the student view. We can see the count or the percentage of the flag passages, as well as the cited or quoted passages. And just like before, we can get more detail by clicking on the gray highlighted passages or by clicking on the links in the list of sources. And of course, we can click on the printer icon to print or download the report. When we're done, we simply click on the X in the top left-hand corner to exit the report and return to our grading screen. And that's it. Those are the basics for using the Originality Report feature in Google Classroom to check for potential plagiarism issues. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Classroom. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash classroom videos.